All right, I've been making these wind-up fans, 3D printed, and kind of working on getting it just right so I can share all the files and other people can make them. This is a newer one. This is the first one I've made, and I've used it a ton. I get my kids to use it all the time, uh, and we've used it so much we finally broke apart. And the part is the ratcheting thing that's inside here that makes it so you don't have to turn the handle a million times to get it to turn. Because with the ratchet, you know, you can turn this 20 times and then it'll turn back hundreds of times. Uh, without the ratchet, you just have to turn this endlessly. Anyway, the ratchet thing in here is broken. And let me show you what the ratchet looks like. Yeah, it looks like this. That's basically it. Turns like this, and it can't get back the other way, right? So it can ratchet one way, and then turns the other way. And these little things break off. So I'm gonna redesign the sucker to make it better, much more durable. I'm actually kind of surprised how long it lasted because when I first designed this, it was just the first thing that came to mind. I was like, let me just do a crappy thing to get something that works. And it lasted pretty long. Okay. Now, when I, when I design a new one, I think these are going to be separate pieces. So instead of just flexing, they're going to be able to uh, just pivot. But to be held in place. But because they're just pivoting, they won't necessarily be pressed out so they get a good grip. So it might just be one or two at the bottom where gravity is pushing them down that get a good grip. So I'm thinking also in here, I want something that presses up against this inside part just to keep the, keep the wheel stable so it doesn't start wobbling because it's only being pressed in one spot. Now it does have this part that keeps it centered but if there's a lot of pressure going sideways, it might start wearing this circle. Anyway, that's, that's my first thoughts. Let me start up this computer and see what I can come up with here. All right, this is what I'm starting with. I'm gonna start with this because it has the right measurements. Like this part in here fits in the thing and this is where the, the point of whatever I'm making has to come out to. And I did actually already adjust this. I made it skinnier here, fatter here, thinking maybe they'd be less likely to break, but they are eventually going to break, so I'm going to, I'm just going to change it. Okay, this circle here corresponds to the inner part of that uh, ratchety gear part, and then this is where the things are going to have to stick out to, so you know, I may as well just make that fill in. Oh wait, I need to leave my square, hold on. Right, right, okay. Now these things somehow have to be able to come in and go back out. And I want a lot of this surface to stay, but do whatever I need to do to have these flexible. It'd be nice if they were somehow spring-loaded to push out a little bit, but that's not, I don't know, that's one of those things that would be nice, but that spring-loaded part is the part that's gonna break eventually. All right, let me see. That's basically what it looks like, just fitting in there. And there's enough space in here, hopefully, that this will be able to slide and not be sticky. I, mean, I might have to adjust that at some point. I can always do a bit of sanding, whatever. All right, let's figure these things out. Huh. All right, I want to cut these out, but I want the thing to still think it's one piece. I just want the computer to treat it like it's one piece. So I put... A little, just this little thing, get out of here. Um, just a little tiny strip around that's going to be above the whole piece that'll just connect it all so it's one piece. And then I can cut these out and it's not going to complain to me that it's multiple parts or whatever. And I, and I, and I want to be able to 3D print it all in one chunk, hopefully even though they'll be separate pieces, except for this one little strip of stuff that I'll just sand off or whatever. Um, I think it's probably pretty good. 
hopefully there's enough space between here that they're not going to get stuck at all. But the thing is, these can totally come out and they can sand in here a little bit if it's rough or anything. So I do want these to be able to move easily. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Just have to do that to all of them. Well, that's easier. Just copy it in a circle four times. Uh, yeah, I like that. Cool. Oh, that is a nice looking thing. Okay, so this this meets the minimum requirements. Like gravity should pull at least one of these out to hook in. However, it would be really nice if they're somehow spring loaded. So And the nice thing about if I if I spring load it with some kind of plastic part in here, if the spring loaded part breaks, they still gravity fall into place. So um, the spring loading is a bonus. However, I'm going to do it. I want it to be something that's going to be pretty good. Like it's going to last a while. Okay, the other thing is if they are spring loaded, they don't have to push all the way out either. As long as they push out just enough to catch the lip, then that will push them out the rest of the way. So, yeah, maybe I can get away with just a tiny bit of spring loaded, just to put a bit of pressure pushing out, just enough that the tip tries to stick out and get caught in that little thing because once it gets caught it'll all right mister let's get rid of some of that stuff yeah let's zoom in on that oh that's looking nice yeah I think that's pretty good but yeah this little part that sticks out here I might want to just round some of that off so it doesn't have a pointy part there that might get caught on anything um, yeah, and let's see what it can do about spring loading it. And I do want to make it something that's just like, uh, it's got the same cross section all the way through, because that's going to be easy to print. And then I can take these pieces out easily. It's just going to be really simple if all my cuts just go straight through. All right, how much do I want to trim off that? I don't think I need that much. Let's see, let's do half a millimeter radius. No, 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 a little more. Let's go 0.75. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, let's do them all like that. Yeah. Yeah, that would be great. All right, let's see about this spring loading situation. I'm thinking something that can just push up here just a little bit. And it can be like, yeah, I can have them. Thing cut out over here, but I don't want to make this too thin because I want this to stay strong because this does something. <sighs> you know what? I'm kind of tempted to print one of these out just to see how it does and see if the spring loading thing is even even important at all. Uh, yeah, maybe I should just do that. This, this is a pretty small part. It doesn't take that long to print. How cool is it that you can just make a part to test it? So cool. Well, geez, you know, all it would take is just a little strip of plastic here that pushes on that, and... Oh, that's going to be... All right, I think that might be good. This thing... This thing does not have to bend much, just a tiny bit, because when this comes down, it's just going to push on a little bit. And if this snaps off, the thing should still work. It just won't be pushed out. Okay. I say we try it. Alright, that looks good. Ratchet. Right. Print. Alright. Hopefully there's no mistakes. All right, well, I'm gonna go do something else for a while.
So, 97.8% done. All right, let's go do a few more <laughs> wheelbarrows of dirt. <sighs> All right, done and cooled off. Looking not bad. All right, looks like these are a little bit stuck on the bottom layer. Let me just, let me just get a little knife and just scrape in there. All right, I just had to poke it out a little bit. Loosen it up, that comes out. And then this little piece. You know, I could even make this stick out a little further, and I think it'd be fine. So I'll probably do that. Although, I think it does push it out enough. I don't know, I'll have to double check. I think I was a little too conservative on those little little spring things. They could definitely stick out more. Oh, it is catching. Let's see, two of them caught there. Mm, one caught there. One, two caught there. Well, it's totally working. Let me get this. Yeah, this one seems to be working really well. Look at that, it just dips back up. That one always catches. This one here, not so good at catching. Let's see what this one does. That one, yeah, not, oh, it sometimes catches. That one. All right, yeah, I think I just need to move. I just need a little bit more spring pressure on this. And all four should catch every time. Although, it looks like one is always catching, and another one is usually catching, which technically is enough for this to work, so I'm just going to put this in a thing, use it, and I'll print out another one, and I'll adjust those springs to be to add a little bit more pressure on there. Alright, how does this part go? Wait, I wind it that way. That means it's going to go that way. All right. All right. It's all back together. Let's give it a test. Ooh, that's nice. Totally functioning. Ooh, sweetness. Beauty. Oh, let's see. Oh, it's just out working out. Oh, nice and hot. Ooh, that's a nice breeze. Oh, that's some good stuff. Yeah, man, the six the six blade propeller. It slows everything down, but it moves a lot of air. Oh, that feels great. Ooh, let's check it again. Let's check it again. Oh, different angles. Seems to be working everywhere. I'm pretty sure only one of those teeth on that ratchet is reliably hooking on. But I'm about 90% sure that if I do a tiny little adjustment, I can get all four teeth hooking in really good every time. And still have that little, that little plastic spring move a tiny, tiny amount. Such a small amount that I'm not worried about it breaking. Yeah, great. All right, 